Hey everybody, this is Pat with High Level Bots and I'm coming at you with a really cool little tutorial that um, I got inspiration for it from the GHL group where somebody was asking how to control access to an opt-in page or the thank you page after an opt-in to make sure that people do opt-in instead of just going directly to the page. So there's lots of options to do it and people have all kinds of suggestions and everything like that. Well, guess what? We're gonna give you the free tutorial and the free funnel right here. Here. So the funnel is right in the description, right below this. You can click it, opt in, uh, get the funnel share like immediately, and you're able to just implement that right away. So we're going to show you this, but before we dive in, hey, click the subscribe, the uh, notification bell, the like button, uh, leave us a comment, let us know what you think about our tutorials, share this with friends, families, and enemies, um, but uh, do all the YouTube things. So with all that out of the way, let's dive into the funnel and see just how easy this is. So um, first off, the, the, the problem that people have is that you know, you're sending traffic, either paid or, or you're doing you know, lots of content generation, things like that. So you're sending people to an opt-in page to get free content or a video or some kind of a lead magnet or an asset, something, right? Uh, kind of like what we're doing with our, our funnel shares, like you can opt in and then you get the funnel share. So um, what we're doing with that is, uh, you know, you normally have an opt-in page and then you have the thank you page, right? And so uh, the opt-in page is getting the lead and then the thank you page is giving up the asset or you know providing more information or a case study or something like that. Now, what you don't want is you don't want somebody sharing the link or bookmarking it and just being able to go and grab that content without opting in. Like, why would you just give it away without getting at least a name and an email? So this method allows us to redirect the user to any page we want if they haven't opted in. And it's very, very simple, like just a little bit of code. And uh, even the, 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 uh, the most amateur coder or, or funnel designer can use this. So let's go into the editor and I'll show you how this works. So in this uh, dummy page here, come on, high level, load up. Let's refresh, I guess. Let's see what happens here. Just a minute, high level's taking a second. There we go. All right, so I have just the most basic opt-in page ever. So it's just got a form. And what I do with this form, when I put this opt-in form in, there's one thing I have to do. I need to go to the advanced tab like this. And you see where you can do the custom class? I add this class opt-in hyphen tracker because I want to be able to hook the code. I want my code to be able to hook into when somebody clicks the submit button and then we're gonna let them opt in. So uh, I, you just go over here with your form, you go to the advanced tab over here and you add this class opt-in hyphen tracker and that's it. Then the code down here, um, I've got a little bit of code here. Um, it's a very simple framework, it's called a, a jQuery. It's already included into this funnel. You just add that code in there, it's good to go. And then here is what's really, really cool. Because people have talked about like, oh gosh, you know, you can write a cookie, but if they, you know, if somebody has cookies disabled, it's not gonna work, that sort of thing. This is a way to get around cookies inside the browser. It's called local storage. So local storage is not a cookie. It's actually kind of like it's in the browser's database and it stores information. So it's kind of like a cookie, but it's more permanent um, and you can't get around it. So um, what happens is that we actually hook into the submit button. So here's that opt-in hyphen tracker, right? So we're saying, hey, grab the button inside the opt-in tracker form. And then when somebody clicks on it, set this opted in value equal to one. That's it. Um, so then this form is set to go to the next step. So let's look and see what the next step is in the opt-in. We're gonna go over here to the opt-in thank you page. And the opt-in thank you page can be whatever you want it to be, right? So this is just a basic sample saying, hey, you made it, here's all your cool stuff. Um, and here's where you would have your videos, case studies, lead magnets, and all the various things like that. So what we do is we have a little snippet of code right at the very top. And all we have to do is set up 
where we want the user to get redirected to. So let's say if that person has not redirected in, I'm just gonna send them straight to Google. Now, normally you would send them to the previous step in your funnel, or you could send them to an entirely different page if you wanted to, uh, if they try to access this page without having opted in. So the next little chunk of code just checks and says, hey, did we have that opted in value set? If we don't, bing, we're actually just Poof, you, you don't get access to this page, you're getting redirected. And it happens fast enough that somebody can't stop the page or do anything else. And what we're doing with this little snippet of code is we're doing uh, the window, we're actually replacing the uh, the redirect URL, uh, uh, we're actually, re re sorry, we're re replacing the thank you page with the redirect URL in the history and the address bar and everything like that. So it just vanishes and they get redirected to this page. So let's see how that works. Um, I'm just gonna go and preview this page. I have not opted in, so you're gonna see it flash and go to Google. So watch this, I have not opted in, and so here we go, and there we are, I'm at Google. And um, there we go, and I can't even go back because uh, there, it, with the window replace function that I used, there is no backwards. So that's how that works with that. So now let me go over here to the opt-in page and then I'm gonna show you what happens when I opt in. I'll be able to access the page and then I'll be able to access it again later on uh, without having to opt in. So I've opted in once and if I go visit the page um, multiple times, then I'll be able to access it. But if I send somebody else the page, they haven't opted in, it'll get them redirected. So that's kind of the, the whole goal of this tutorial. So let me preview the opt-in page and I'm gonna opt in here with my email and I give me the good stuff. Here we go, boom, there we go. Now I am at the thank you page. So now let's close this out. Let's say I close it out and I go do something else and I wanna get back to that opt-in page but I don't wanna opt, or that thank you page but I don't wanna opt in again. Watch me preview it and now I can access it again and I won't be sent to Google. So that is how it works. It's very, very simple. So again, on the thank you page, all you gotta do is come in and you edit this little piece of code and you basically put in whatever URL you wanna redirect to right here and you're good to go. Um, so that's it. Uh, that is the tutorial. Super, super simple, super quick, very easy to implement. And like I said, the, uh, the link is in the description. You can actually get that uh, funnel share and put it to good use right now. So uh, like I said, if, uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like it, comment, uh, etc. And join our Facebook group. The, uh, the link is in the funnel share as well. We'd love to see you there. And uh, yeah, enjoy your funnel and have a great day.